Good morning and welcome to another FiCloud webinar. My name is Elaine and today I'll be discussing collaborating using Office 365 integration. Our topics will be how to use WebEdit via browser and via FileCloud Sync, how to create an Office 365 document on FileCloud, how to save file modifications, and file preview. Okay, so before we start teaching our users, let's start off with the basic admin configuration. So as you see, we're currently logged in here in our admin portal. So for the file cloud administrators out there to configure the web edit, we will need to go to the settings, which is located in the left side panel of the portal. Then we select web edit. And then we select Microsoft Office Online Cloud as the WPI client type. So that's basically the only setting that we select here. And after, and after that one, it automatically selects the rest of the fields. After we click configure, it will show us a pop-up screen notifying the successful configuration. So the next step to remember for the administrator is to make sure that the Office Online release setup is also configured to enable Microsoft Office Online for editing. Okay, so that's basically the configuration for the web edit. Everything is set now, and let's try now to open a sample document. So we are now here in the user portal. Let's go to the My Files and let's select Document. To start editing, let's click Open in Office Online. So by using Microsoft Office integration, you now have the capability to edit the document. And that means any changes made are automatically saved back to file cloud. Status of the document can be found here at the top. And so at the same time, when a file is opened by Office 365, the document will show as lock. This is to avoid other users from modifying the document. Well, I am modifying it as well in the Office Online. So the purpose for this is to avoid conflicts. So let's try to access this document through another user which I've prepared here. So let's go to the shared files and there you go. As you notice, test one document is showing a lock icon to inform users that someone is working on it. So if the document is not yet locked, then you will always get the previous version of the file that was stored in FileCloud. So remember, when it's locked and you have enabled uh, the prevent others from downloading this while lock setting, it will prevent other users all read and write access. It will show a notification in the other user's view that it's been currently modified. Okay, so for the administrators, to ensure that you have enabled the locking of the file, again, we go here in the settings, but this time we select miscellaneous. We go to general, and make sure disable locking is not ticked. Okay, disable locking should not be ticked. And going back here to our test document, notice that FileCloud automatically save any changes made. So once we're done, we can close the document without clicking on any save button. If you'd like to verify it, then we can reopen it again and the changes are there. So 
So that's uh, the whole process for the web edit via browser tests. And we have another option to open the document, which is through sync. So for, us for users, make sure that we have downloaded uh, the sync client. And to verify that one, we can check it here in our system tray. And um, you can find the file called sync logo. Okay. So let's select another test document here. We click more and then we select quick edit. So this option makes a call to our desktop and access via sync client. There you go. Okay, so we can edit from here. Save. And once it's saved, the sync will upload it back to Fata. All right, so that's how, how web edit works via sync in, of course, the browser. So next we have here is how to create an Office 365 document on FileCloud. So going back here in the administrator side, we need to ensure that we have enabled the new document creation. And here in the admin portal, instead of the settings, we click customization. Under generals tab, UI features, Look for show new document creation option and make sure it's tick. Okay. So if you notice, we also have here the show quick edit option, which is the setting used for the file cloud sync earlier. When um, administrators encounter issues where a user can create a new document or edit a document online, then we just check these settings. All right, so back to the user portal to create a new test document. Let's click folder actions here in the upper right hand corner and then select new word document, the file name. And there you go, we have already created the New document. And it, and it says save to file cloud. Lastly, for the file preview, we select the document we just created and then we hit preview. Now another window opens showing an image of the file. However, we won't be able to, to edit directly from here unless we select edit in browser, this one. Please note that file code supports different file types such as Microsoft, Adobe, and Dicom. 